Hello, and welcome to our video on walled garden strategies. If you're not familiar with walled gardens, they're essentially closed systems that control both the content and distribution of that content. So, why would a company use a walled garden strategy? There are a few key reasons. Control. By controlling the content and distribution, a company can ensure that the content being consumed is high quality and aligns with their brand values. This is especially important for companies in industries like media and entertainment, where they want to protect their content from piracy. Monetization Walled gardens allow companies to charge for content, whether that's through subscriptions or individual purchases. This can be a lucrative revenue stream for companies that produce high-quality content. Data Walled gardens also allow companies to collect data on user behavior and preferences, which can be used to improve the user experience and target advertising more effectively. However, there are also drawbacks to walled garden strategies. For example, users may be limited in their choices, and it can be difficult for new content creators to break into the system. So, is a walled garden strategy right for your business? It really depends on your goals and the industry you're in. If you're in a highly competitive industry, a walled garden strategy can help you stand out and differentiate your product. However, if you're in an industry where users value choice and openness, a walled garden strategy may not be the best fit. Ultimately, it's important to carefully consider the pros and cons of a walled garden strategy before implementing it. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe for more business strategy insights.